Hi guys, this video covers how Home Inspector Pro 6 works with licensing, um, especially with multi-inspector, but also for single inspector as well. So what I've done is I've gone to office.homeinspectorpro.com and you're gonna log in with your name and password you created when you purchased the software on homeinspectorpro.com. Now this works whether you subscribe to HIP Office or not. So if you subscribe to HIP Office, you're gonna see all the normal menus pop up here on the left-hand side. If you don't use HIP Office, then you're gonna see less items. So you won't have orders and data management. Um, we're gonna to go to settings and down to employees. Now, if you're a single inspector firm, uh, you won't see anything here because you don't have any employees. If you're a multi-inspector firm, what you want to do is make sure all your employees have been added into the system under your account. If they already have an account, click on add employee and click add from existing HIP users. And you can search by their username on our website or their email address. And then you'll be able to add them. What will happen is an email will be sent to them where they'll confirm that you are indeed uh, the owner of the company, and that just prevents anyone from, you know, being mischievous with the system and adding people that aren't their employees. If they do not have a system, uh, an account yet, you're going to go into add employee and click create a new user, and you'll create a username and password and everything for them on here. That'll automatically add them to your account at that time since you've just created them. Uh, it'll show you on the right hand side whether they are subscribed to a subscription already, whether they've confirmed that you are indeed their boss, or whether it's still pending a confirmation. Uh, you can, from right here, uh, allocate a subscription. Uh, you see Hawkeye Pierce here um, has been confirmed, and now I can go ahead and I could add um, a license to him. He already has a subscription, and so I can see he already belongs to the Home Inspector Pro Cloud Service. If they don't, I can come in here, click Allocate Subscription, and this will show the subscriptions that I've already purchased where I have a quantity left. So uh, if I needed to give this person a Home Inspector Pro 6 upgrade, it says quantity left two, and I can click on Allocate to give him a license for Home Inspector Pro uh, 6. If you've purchased in multiple times uh, at, at different time periods, you may see uh, the same subscription multiple times. Uh, those quantities are, are cumulative. So this actually has four upgrades that are left and one that has already been allocated here. I'm gonna close that. You can also go to subscription. So even if you're a single inspector, you would come here to the subscription tab. This shows the details of all the subscriptions that have been purchased so far. So under here, Home Inspector Pro 6 upgrade, there's one purchase that's also been allocated. Uh, this person also put, purchased a mobile plan. They have a phone number, they have hip office. Their other upgrade, they have two available. So under here, uh, you can allocate it to yourself if you wanted to. If this was a license for you, allocate to yourself or I can allocate it and create a new user um, with that would be an employee of mine. Any allocations you do here, so if I came in and um, once you purchase Home Inspector Pro 6 or you've upgraded to it, um, if, if you just purchased it and you're the only user, it'll automatically allocate it to you. If you purchase an upgrade, you'll come in here and allocate it to yourself and that'll automatically be reflected on the desktop software. Uh, also, under view profile uh, any information here such as and click on edit uh, company name company phone number email address that information will automatically uh, flow over into the desktop software and then another thing you can do here with your employees is you can set whether that information is editable or not. So if I disable this and the employee will not be able to change um, the phone number or email address or any of the information on the license page. If you click on draft, then the report will have a watermark across it when they generate it locally and they won't be able to uh, actually send a, a copy to their client without the draft, without uploading it via the HIP cloud, HIP office, or to ISN. 
Okay, once you have licensing all set up within the Office system, you start up Home Inspector Pro and you simply type in your username and password and click login. If you were the owner of the company, you'll see multiple licenses. So I can load uh, all my employees' licenses if I want, or I can select a single license. If you have multiple companies that you work for, uh, this will work the same as well. Click on Load License, tells me all these licenses are loaded. Uh, if you happen to be a beta tester, you get this message. Otherwise, you won't. And now I can go to Edit Company Information. And if you look on here, I can switch between my employees. So if you're a company that has 30 employees, you would actually see 30 license files that are in here. Uh, and that's it. So your license is loaded. It gives you a reminder of what your username is and any subscription that you have. Um, if you have any questions on this, feel free to call us at 888-750-4777. Uh, click on uh, support on our website or email help at homeinspectorpro.com or click on live chat on our website. Thank you very much.